So hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I was actually quite impressed with that tongue pop, they're not normally that good. I did just film a tutorial on this look, so I will link it in the description box down below if you haven't seen it yet. Go check it out after you've watched this video. And I just thought I'd film kind of a drag kind of starter kit, my favourite drag makeup, just stuff that I go to time and time again that I know I can rely on to give me that full coverage drag beat. And yeah, I really hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below any other products that I need to be checking out and subscribe to my channel. I bring out new videos every single Monday, 8pm GMT time, plus lots of bonus videos and content and I'm hoping to bring a lot more videos this year, so... Stay tuned for that, and yeah, let's get on with my favourite drag makeup, shall we? So the first thing I'd recommend is glue for your eyebrows. If you don't glue down your brows, you look like a man. This is why I need to learn to glue down my brows. I did just buy some Prozade, which is what I used to use like a couple of years ago when I was doing Halloween videos. Prozade is just kind of a really strong kind of special effects glue and it works so much better for covering brows. But it's one thing that I really want to focus on in 2018 is learning to cover my brows so I can actually paint a good drag face on and not look like a bloke in a wig. But the next thing I would recommend is this Makeup Forever Flash Palette dupe that I got off eBay. And it's good just because it's got lots of different colours in it, so if you're going to do some fun kind of artistic looks, it's also good. But they also work as good eyeshadow bases, but the main reason I love this palette is because of this peach shade here. I use it in almost every single video, but you need something to use to kind of colour correct the 5 o'clock shadow. So if you just put foundation straight over it, it will show through. Like mine still kind of shows through since I've had this makeup on a few hours now. But you need something to colour correct your beard. So I'd recommend something with like a peachy tone if you're lighter in skin and if you're deeper a lot more orange toned and yeah I'll leave some products down below that are a little bit more orange and different things to this but this is just something that I found on eBay and it just works and you get lots of other colours you can also use the white here for highlighting as well and it works a dream so yeah I'd recommend this just something to block out the kind of five o'clock shadow of beard area just to give you that I'm a fishy woman look that you would want from drag why can't I tongue pop again? So the next thing I would recommend is some form of hydrating product, whether that be rose hip oil, which is what I personally use, or some form of hydrating primer. It's really good to prep your skin before you go in with the full coverage foundation, just so it kind of lays on your skin nicer, looks a little bit more kind of natural. I mean, I know this is not natural, but it looks a little bit more natural on the skin and less cakey, and it also just helps everything blend better. I've noticed that if I don't use rose hip oil, like my contour doesn't blend as nice, my highlight just looks a little bit more patchy, and so I'd recommend some form of like hydrating product, whatever you find. Rosehip oil works for me. And yeah, I normally just put a drop or two on my brush and just it helps blend everything out. So for foundation, I would recommend the Krylan TV Paint Stick. These are just my favourite thing. They are just so full coverage. They cover the past, present and motherfucking future, bitch. And I use three shades. So I have one for my base, one for contour and one for highlight. Uh, it just seems to work. It gives you that full, full, full coverage beat. Since cover girl don't cover boy, baby. So you need some full coverage foundation. These are just absolutely amazing. They are built for stage makeup. So they last a good amount of time. Even if you're sweating, sucking dick, whatever you are doing in drag. And yeah, they just seem to work well. They're pretty inexpensive too, and you get quite a lot of product per stick. So yeah, I would highly recommend the Cryline TV Paint Sticks for the base. So the next thing I would recommend is the Coty Loose Air Spun Powder. I use this just to set my face as well as bake to basically emphasize my highlight regions. And it just helps lock everything in place. It makes it a lot more sweat proof. So again, if you are performing on stage, sucking dick or whatever you're doing, then it just helps lock everything in place and keep it on for a lot longer. I've noticed that if I don't bake or heavily set using this powder, my drag makeup does not stay on my face very long. So I'd highly recommend this if you're doing drag just because it helps keep everything locked in place. I really can't do tongue pops, so I don't know why I keep trying. So another product for the face that I'd recommend is a Clown White kind of pigment cream paint. This is from Snazaru in the shade Clown White, but Ben Knight also do a really good white kind of cream colour. And it's really good for if you're going to highlight with it, to carve out the brow, to cut the lid. Just any form of cleanup is also really good to do this. And also if you're really going to highlight the nose, I'd recommend using like a Clown White for that really like raven snatch nose you can also obviously find it like a similar kind of cream color in the makeup forever flash palette dupe or just the general makeup forever flash palette if you have like 100 and something pounds to spend on that and yeah i'll just recommend like a cream white since it comes in handy so often just in general looks 
So I'm not going to mention any specific eyeshadows or eyeshadow palettes. If you are trying to find just a good basic one, I'd recommend the Kat Von D one. But what I would recommend is getting some big motherfucking false lashes. I know I haven't glued these on quite even, so please give me a free pass on it. I know they're not quite even. But these are from Law, and I think they're only like £3 each on Amazon. I will link them down below. But I'd recommend just a really good full, full like drag lash, obviously when you're doing drag. And I would put some on my lower lash line too. I haven't done it today, but you know, again, give me a free pass on that. But again, these are pretty inexpensive and they just really make your eyes bigger, they make it more dramatic, they make it so much more draggy. So yeah, I'd recommend some big motherfucking false lashes. Again, why do I keep trying it? I can't do it. So the next thing I would recommend if you're showing a lot of skin, if you're not wearing tights, if you're just kind of got your body on show, and I know I haven't blended my foundation into my chest but we can hide that it's some form of like bronzing spray airbrush spray my favorite is from sally hansen and it's the airbrush legs i just feel like this to spray on my legs if my legs are going to be out and i'm not wearing padding or tights or whatever or this one from Soap and Glory, which is like just a general bronzing spray. It's just really good to spray on the body, on the arms, and blend in. And it makes your skin look so flawless. Because it looks really strange if you have a full beat face and then nothing on your body. Especially if your natural boy legs are kind of on show. I'd recommend some form of like airbrush spray. It just makes you look absolutely flawless head to toe then. See, that time wasn't too bad. I'm getting better as I go along this video. The next thing I would recommend is some form of setting spray. I personally like to use two. I will use one, such as MAC Fix Plus, which is a lot more hydrating, just to set the powders into my skin and just make it all look a little bit more seamless and, like, blended and just not as powdery looking on my skin. And then I'll go in with another one, which is, like, the Urban Decay All Nighter, or just something that's going to prolong the wear of my makeup. People also use hairspray, but... Use that at your own discretion, it can damage your skin and clog your pores, etc. But something then to just help lock it in place, such as the Urban Decay All Nighter is my favourite one. So I'll use them in unison just to keep my face looking less powdery and prolong the wear again. And the last thing I would recommend that just completes any form of a look is glitter. So I like to buy like nail art gems or that kind of rhinestones, just loose little glitters that I can pop under my kind of lower lash line or in the in the corner. But that can kind of get everywhere and take a lot more time. So my favourite way to apply glitter recently is the Stila Liquid Metal Eyeshadows. These just place the glitter where you want it. It's really opaque. It's just absolutely stunning. And yeah, they have changed the world of drag forever. Slay. So yeah, that kind of completes my drag starter kit favourite drag kind of base products that I think is just a perfect thing to go from any look for. And yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below any other products I should be checking out, anything else that you'd recommend in like a drag kind of starter kit. And yeah, subscribe to my channel. I bring out new videos every single Monday. And thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.